no I haven't filled it up with water yet. All right friends, it's butcher day. Let's get started. This one right here was our biggest one that we had in there. We've had this one for quite a few months. Um, 160. 160. Got to go to 175, 180. So I'm very curious to see how much Where's this guy weighs. Here? All right, friends, it is 11 o'clock and we are done. So it took us three hours, just the four of us, to get 50 meat birds done. So I haven't put them in bags yet. They are sitting in the ice right now. They're gonna cool. And then I will go ahead and transfer them into the bags a little bit later on today. But we are done. We've got everything pretty much cleaned up. The chickens, we finally let them out and they're gonna pick up the rest of the guts and feathers that we didn't get. The cannibals, I'm telling you, chickens are cannibals. But I'm so happy to be done. I'll bring you back when I start bagging everything up. Can you see my process is how, of how we bag up all of the meat birds and then stick them in the freezer. Come on, come on, let's go. Keep going. There you go, there you go. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, guys. There's one more right here. Are they all down? Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Junior, huh? He's always coming. I know. We'd be lost without him. I know. I went to go look for Angel. I couldn't find her. I mean, she's hidden good. If she's if she's hiding, then she's yeah. hidden. Like this one, she was hiding. You couldn't see her. She was in a bag. All right, friends. So now I am getting to all of the gizzards, the liver, the heart, and the feet of the chickens that we processed today. So I decided with the feet, I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate them in my oven and I'm gonna give them to the dogs as treats because they loved these. The whole time we were out there processing, we were throwing them some feet and they absolutely loved it. So I thought, why not we just go ahead and dehydrate it and they can be lovely little treats for the dogs. All the necks, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum seal them and these will be for my bone broth and my stock whenever I do big batches of it. I can just throw these in there to help with my bone broth. All the gizzards, which my dogs do not eat, I'm giving these to my neighbor. He came out and helped us and he really enjoys the gizzards, the liver, and the hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and give all those things to my neighbor. I've got my sink full of all these things and I'm gonna go ahead and wash them and package them up so that way they can go into the freezer without any mess. Let me show you real quick all of the feet that I have in the oven right now. Now online it says to go ahead and dehydrate, to go ahead and put those in the oven at 200 degrees for six to eight hours, but I'll come back and check them to see if they're fully dehydrated. If not, I'll let them go a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing with the feet. Now let's get started on packaging up all my necks. All right, so here are my necks. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a separate container and then we're gonna vacuum seal them with my food saver. All right, so I've got all of my necks out of there and they're all washed, so I need to go ahead and put them in my vacuum sealer. That way I can put them in the freezer and pull them out whenever I need them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of bags. I've got one extra one here. So I'm gonna utilize this one and still make a couple more. I 
think that looks good. Should be a nice size. I'm gonna put it on moist because this is still kind of wet. That works. All right, now I've got three bags of necks. So when I do my bone broth, I can just pull these out and throw them in with all my bones. And this will make great, great bone broth. Always make sure that you clean everything after working with raw chicken. All right, friends, so I got everything done as far as getting all of the gizzards, the liver, the heart, and the feet all taken care of and bagged up and the necks. I got those in the freezer. And the only thing I have left to do is bag up the chicken. I'm letting it rest for 24 hours. So tomorrow I will come back and I will go ahead and bag all the chickens that we processed today. So I'll bring y'all back on another video showing you how we bag up our chickens. So friends, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today as we processed our 50 meat birds. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.